some of the basic equipment required in this exercise include a weighing scale to measure the weight of your fish a thermometer to monitor the temperature of the water acetone for preservation of the pituitary and extra pituitary a motor and pencil a calibrated jug these will be used to measure the water a pair of pincers for cutting through the head or a hacksaw for the same purpose a dissecting kit a syringe and needle table salt a knife a substrate on which our eggs will be attached after fertilization a hand basin and clean water having done that the next stage will be to collect and condition the brooders or parents ready for use in propagation to do this a net will be run through the broodstock pond or the pond which holds the parents and the parents are carefully collected and placed into containers from there you move to the hatchery where most of the activities will be taking place once inside the hatchery the males and females are separated and kept in separate tanks the males are easily recognized by a distinct sexual papilla which is located just behind the anus the females on the other hand have two distinct holes in the anal region with the anus at the front and the urinogenital opening at the back it is a female you can see the openings are just two round holes and you squeeze it a bit you get a uh, a few of the eggs mm -hmm. when they are uh, this golden greenish mm -hmm. they are uh, ripe so we also put females in a different time okay. while selecting the males ensure that they are more than 200 grams in weight and they are not less than seven months in age now we have uh, separated our group stock that we acquired from our ponds we have put them into two different tanks that is males and females to avoid aggression that may cause them more stress and for them to relax and uh, absorb the stress they got during capture so they will rest for some time as we await to inject them. We will uh, have to count the hours because our temperatures here will last between 16 to 18 hours before the eggs can be ready for stripping. So we will uh, inject our fish around 1.30. They will have had about an hour's rest and absorb the stress. So as we await for that, we will prepare our solution, saline solution, that we will use to inject the fish with the pituitary. This saline solution is a, a solution that we make locally, or you can use the, this uh, water for injection, 
but we make locally, we boil water. One liter of that water we mix with nine grams of salt. We stir the mixture into a solution. And uh, this solution we will use to take two cc of it and inject it to our mix with the pituitary and inject into our female fish. We will use the same saline solution to keep or prolong the lifespan of our sperms of the fish. For sperms last very few seconds in clear water that is not saline, but in saline it will take quite some time and all the sperms will have gotten onto the eggs. So now we will prepare, we have already boiled our water, which is uh, one liter. I will measure nine grams of salt. So we measured the salt, nine grams, and uh, for our farmers, you can go because we don't have weighing balances that are electronic to measure the nine grams. So we went to a place where they had the one that can measure 9 grams and we made a mark. If you have a syringe of 10 ml and the, at the upper mark that is seen here, that is 9 grams. So we will mix the two and stir the mixture thoroughly. And it is all going into a solution. This is our saline solution that we will use for the exercise. Remember, the fish has to be killed first before the whole process can start. The pituitary is a very small organ located within the brain case. In order to access it, you have to cut through the brain case either from the top of the head or from below the brain case. In our case, we will approach it from below the brain case, in which case we will first cut through the mouth to remove the lower lip and then we cut off the bone covering the brain from below using a pair of pincers or a hacksaw. When you remove the bone cover, you will see the pituitary gland as a small round object patching on top of the brain. Use a pair of forceps to carefully remove this pituitary and gently place it inside a crucible. Add some saline water and use a pestle to press it and crush it so that it mixes with the saline to make a solution. Obviously some particles will remain but we are more interested in the solution that comes out of it because this is the solution that contains the hormone that we want to use. This solution is then injected into mature females that we have already selected at the rate of 1 
CC per female. Sometimes if the females are too big, we can use 2cc. The most common method of administering this hormone solution is by intramuscular injection into the dorsal muscle.